So this is Scott Schaefer, and he's talking about Mr. Beast, how he's been doing bad stuff, and how YouTube is a clickbait, and this and this and this. And we know this. YouTubers and most of them are pieces of shit. But what I was most interested in wasn't the stupid thumbnails he's putting up on the screen of his editing crew. His backdrop is absolutely crazy. Just look at the backdrop with the... With the with, fuck that. Look at the backdrop with the Batman in the back. Okay? And you'll see, like, something fly in the sky occasionally. you see it flicker. you see a train. you see a person. you see stuff. This is f crazy cool. How has this guy only got... 164,000 subscribers. He should have millions of subscribers. Just for his background alone. This is absolutely insanely good. I don't give a shit about this above me. That stuff, war crime, thumbnail crap. People, just look at his background. That is so cool. You know, I haven't seen a background like that in a while. It's really sweet to see, you know? And it's animated. It moves occasionally. So it's not like it's just a picture. That's really cool, man. So if you look closely. Let's see, let's see what we can find. There's a train there. See it? To the right side. To his left arm. Train just went past. Light just flickered in his far left of his screen. You see the train go past too. Right, so the Batman symbol flicker. Cool. <laughs> he, he has he has a thumbnail of Mr. Beast with uh with him in panties on his face like a mask. Right? And I have to nice say, thumbnail. Nice. That is a brilliant thumbnail. Every time I see that, I've seen that like twelve times now. It still yep. makes me laugh every time I see that. That's a great thumbnail. That is that is truly impressive. Now if you don't know what that's sniffing panties. Weird as fuck, but someone does it, I guess. Look, in the sky is a helicopter. Sweet. Yeah, but Penguin, he thinks it's cool for kids to get mutilation. Come on. He's bad as well. Now, I can't speak for Charlie. I can't speak for any other creator. Oh, I did. I just spoke for Charlie. Well, I spoke about Charlie. I'm up until this point. I'm, I'm now going to obviously milk him a little Yep, milk it. Get some, get some Ave Avenue. Yeah, go ahead. But I have my tires been turned off, so I don't make nothing, but I just do it for fun. Is so many other creators are talking about him. That's basically what we have at this point. <coughs> Excuse me. What we and to spread awareness as well. Don't forget. Awareness is very important. This game actually looks okay, but I've never played it. We'll skip it anyway. I've seen The Human Centipede. That is a creepy movie. I saw it like a minute and I clicked off. Okay, The Human Centipede is a very disturbing, disgusting movie where, put it this way, their head is up their asses. And that's most of the movie. It's just weird, which is disgusting. Whoever the director was and the people that are willing to show up for that, they should all be burned or they should all be like locked up in a cage and dis put onto an island somewhere, kind of like Australia. But Australia is really nice still, so that was kind of dumb for England to do that. You know, they should have put them in the Antarctic instead. That would have been miserable.
and then the next day they'll gobble up that information and regurgitate it on their own. So basically you have, like I said, an entire game of uh, human centipede where one creator is just basically giving you the same information. Yes. That's what they do, these big creators, these big YouTubers. They just copy each other, and you're like, wow, such a great creator, oh my goodness. Yes, the imagination that went behind this, the research, all the information. He literally just copy and pasted everything and just spewed it out of his mouth or her mouth. They've already, it's already been done before, so it's easy to replicate, yeah? Or easy to, like, modify. It's really annoying, by the way. So that's why I don't read a lot or don't watch a lot, because if I do... Then you're just going to hear the same stuff in a slightly different way. What's the point? I try and just read some of it and, 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 and kind of just go off unscripted. You know? Just me. So it's more genuine. I think that's what people want. I think that's why they go to YouTube is to look for genuinity. Or genuinity or however you want to say it. Because <laughs> everything is staged out there. It doesn't matter if you're going to work. If you go to a job. If you go to school. You're told what to say, what to do, all of the time. No one is truly free. No one truly has their own personality these days. Look at TV, look at movies. It's all scripted. It's all bullshit made up by somebody else. You know? No one's able to be themselves. It's crazy, the world we live in. We truly do live in the Matrix world. Whether you want to believe it or not, it's up to you. Free choice. But I'm just saying, it's there. True. True. Okay, and go give um, Scott Schaefer, give him a uh, subscribe. Big shout out. Uh, really good YouTuber. Uh, this, this isn't as plugged into the Matrix as most YouTubers are. Uh, a little more free thinking, which I like. And there's no surprise. He's an older guy. So, yeah, he's obviously been around and he obviously knows a lot more than most YouTubers. And realizes the BS and realizes the um, the way things work, the way things are. All right, see ya. Bye bye bye.